In May 2025, India conducted precision strikes into Pakistani territory using missiles and aircraft under Operation Sindor. Pakistan responded immediately and claimed it had shot down five Indian jets, including at least three advanced Rafale jets that reportedly crashed on the Indian side of the border. Interestingly, the Indian Air Force has remained unusually silent on these claims. However, international media outlets and some US officials have confirmed that images circulating online show debris consistent with at least two French-made fighter jets. So let's break down what might have actually happened that night and how Rafale's powerful Spectra defense system possibly failed to intercept the PL-15 missile. According to Pakistan's claims, the Rafales were all shot down within Indian territory, approximately 11 to 85 kilometers from the Pakistani border, well within the 200 plus kilometer range of the PL-15 missile. Claims aside, let's take a closer look at the Rafales Spectra system, designed to keep it from being shot down. Spectra starts by instantly detects radar signals from enemy aircraft, ground systems, or missiles. It figures out what kind of threat it is and warns the pilot right away. Then it can jam those enemy radars, making it harder for them to lock on or follow the Rafale properly. If that's not enough, Spectra track the incoming missile through radar and heat signatures. It releases flares to confuse heat-seeking missiles and deploys chaff to misguide radar-guided missile, and even use towed decoys to lure the missile away from the real jet. The best part? It's fully automatic and super fast. In short, Spectra makes Rafale extremely hard to shoot down, especially with radar-guided missiles. So again, the big question, how did it still get hit? Now. Meet the Chinese missile, PL-15, that reportedly shoot down the Rafale. It is China's deadly, beyond visual range, air-to-air -air missile with a range of over 200 kilometers. Pakistan has deployed this missile on aircraft received from China, such as the J-10C and JF-17 Block 3. The PL-15 uses active radar guidance, meaning once it locks on, it can chase the target without help. The PL-15 is designed to take down advanced aircraft, not just the Rafale, but even the F-22, before they even see it coming. Although the F-22 is stealthy, the PL-15 can be guided using ground-based radar systems designed to detect stealth aircraft. Once it gets close enough, the missile's own radar seeker is capable of locking onto the F-22 during the terminal phase of flight. The latest version of the PL-15 features a ramjet engine, providing greater speed and extended range. This allows Chinese fighters, such as the J-20, to engage the F-22 before it can detect and lock onto them, effectively exploiting the missile's no-escape zone. The PL-15's AESA radar also improves resistance to electronic warfare and jamming while enhancing target discrimination, helping distinguish real stealth targets from decoys. Most importantly, it features advanced aerodynamic maneuvering fins, enabling it to outturn even the most agile targets during the terminal phase. Not even the F-22's legendary Super Cruise and Agility may be enough to escape a well-guided PL-15 at close range. Although Pakistan may not have received the latest version of the PL-15, the older variants are still effective against fighters like the Rafale. The best part is, it can be launched with external support. So even if the aircraft carrying the missile can't detect the target itself, it can still fire based on data from AWACS, ground radar, or other friendly aircraft that spotted the target earlier. So, how did PL-15 hit a Rafale? Now here's where Spectra has some weak spots. If an enemy jet or missile is being guided by AWACS or data links and isn't using its own radar, 
Spectra might not detect it from far away, because there's no radar signal for it to pick up. That means the Rafael can be targeted by platforms that stay completely silent. The Rafael's radar, with a range of 200 to 250 kilometers, is designed to detect aircraft at that distance. Not low RCS threats like a PL-15 missile from such a long range. Let's imagine the mission. During Operation Sindor, Indian jets fired missiles into Pakistan from far away without crossing the border. That means the Indian jets were high and exposed. Their full focus was likely on guiding their own missiles, not watching for incoming threats. At that moment, Pakistan's J-10Cs might have been silently tracking them, using AWACS support or passive sensors. The J-10Cs didn't turn on their radar. Instead, they got targeting data from ground radars or AWACS. They released the PL-15 from a long distance without activating its radar seeker. Since the Rafales weren't expecting an ambush, the missile flew undetected until it got close. The PL-15 gave off a very low radar signature when its own radar seeker was off. So when it got closer, it activated its radar in the terminal phase, 30 to 50 kilometer distance from the target, giving the Rafale very little reaction time. In that short window, Spectra may not have reacted quickly enough, or it may have misjudged the threat. Also, Spectra's brain, the threat database, needs to be regularly updated. If it encounters a new missile or radar system that isn't in its library, it might misjudge the threat or react too slowly. So even this advanced system can mess up if it's surprised by something unfamiliar. With multiple radars, both friendly and hostile, active during combat, the resulting radar noise could overwhelm systems like Spectra. This could lead to delays in response or even a failure to detect an incoming missile until it was too late. Most importantly, the pilot's skill cannot be ignored at all. Even elite jets can fall victim to human error if the pilot fails to react in time. So yes, even a beast like the Rafale can be brought down if the circumstances are just right, or wrong, depending on perspective. The Rafale is undoubtedly a formidable fighter, and its spectrate provides exceptional protection. But no system is flawless. In war, surprise, timing, and tactics can sometimes overcome even the most advanced technology. Until either side gives hard evidence, the truth remains in a cloud of fog. But one thing's clear. If Pakistan really did pull this off, it was a textbook BVR kill. A rare but possible feat, even against elite jets like Rafale.